Good evening, and welcome to the South Wales Argus Pride of Gwent Awards, in partnership with the University of South Wales. What a 12 months it has been. When the pandemic first hit and we went into lockdown, our communities came together. An army of volunteers did the shopping, they collected prescriptions, and just generally helped those in need. Every Thursday evening, the roads were lined with people clapping for the NHS and carers. Our worlds became very small though, and for some lockdown was a very lonely time. Then over the summer, we started to rebuild our way of life and society, only to be cast back into lockdowns again. These first few months of 2021 have been especially hard. While many were stoic in the first lockdown, as the third lockdown stretched on, it became harder and harder to put a brave face on it. Yet once again, volunteers, community organizations, businesses, and individuals stepped up to offer help and support. At the South Wales Argus, we launched our We're In It Together campaign to signpost help and support services available in the local area. It has been tough and it continues to be, but we are getting through it together. And while things remain difficult, I don't think celebrating the hard work of volunteers, fundraisers and community heroes has ever been more important. I can only imagine the hours they, many of you watching, have had to work to keep our country going. And I hope this evening our finalists can put their feet up for the night and, and realise just how grateful we all are for their efforts. When COVID-19 hit, the plans for these awards were sent into disarray. We've had to go back to the drawing board more than once due to further lockdowns and restrictions. But we felt we had to find a way to make this happen and to show our appreciation for the heroes, charity champions and carers for their dedication, enthusiasm and community spirit. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the judges for the time and expertise they brought to the process. It is a time consuming job reading all the entries though many of them found it a heartwarming and moving experience. These awards would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors. They continue to champion the awards during these challenging times and have helped to ensure that they can go ahead online tonight. So I'd like to thank our title sponsor, the University of South Wales, and our category sponsors, Admiral Insurance, Colleg Gwent, Gwent Police and the Police and Crime Commissioner, Knaff Insulation, Mellon Homes, Monmouthshire Building Society, Monmouthshire County Council, Newport City Council, Newport City Homes, Tuvy Brothers, United Welsh Housing, Western Power Distribution. These awards have also been supported by the Inaira and Bevan University Health Board. I'd also like to thank Freemasons of Monmouthshire who have sponsored the Souvenir Programme, which will be in the South Wales Argus on March the 18th. In it, you'll be able to find out more about tonight's winners, so be sure to pick up a copy. We want this evening to be as interactive as possible. And while we might not be able to be in the same room with you tonight, please put your messages of good luck, celebration and support in the comments below. I know our finalists would love to see them. You can like and share this post too, so that your Facebook friends can see what you're watching and watch it along with you. Now your awards host this evening is no stranger to heroics. In 1982, the logistics vessel Sir Galahad was destroyed in Bluff Cove on the Falkland Islands. On board was Simon Weston, Welsh Guardsman, a name and a face that would become well known for his struggle to overcome his injuries of 46% burns and redefine his role in life. Simon's story is one of achievement, of triumph over adversity, of seizing the moment and succeeding. Welcome to our host, Simon Weston. Good evening, it's an absolute pleasure to be here tonight with you. I'm thrilled to be involved because you guys are the backbone of our society, you're the linchpin. You are the people who make a difference. How do you judge awards like this? Well, let me start by giving my own personal thanks to all those who have been nominated today 
for the sacrifices you have made. We know that only some of you will be mentioned, but let me reassure you that we recognize the qualities you have and all the work you have done over the past many months. For this, we salute you. I feel really honored to be asked to present these awards. For me, the heroes in life are the ordinary people who step up in the moment. When the bomb hit my ship in the Falklands, there were people around me whose actions I will remember until my dying day. Their bravery helped us to regain control of what was chaos. And thanks to the actions of one or two, my life was saved. I am so grateful to so many people, those on the ship, the Falklands nurses who are so rarely mentioned, and the airmen who comforted me on the 19 hours flight back to the UK. The heroes in my life are people you will have never heard of, and yet they mean so much to me that I have named my children after them. And that's why these awards are so important, because today you are going to hear the names of people you have never heard of. Now, I'm not saying that you have to name your children after them, but listen for a moment about the things they have done and consider just how important it is that we have people around us like them. The South Wales Argus have been sent some messages of good luck and appreciation for the finalists tonight. Here is the first message from Ian Rush. Hi, it's Ian Rush here. The Pride of Winter Wars are really special. So I'd just like to thank the Argos newspaper for all the hard work in these difficult times. Anyway, you all take care, stay safe, and you'll never walk alone. Thanks, Ian. Our first category this evening is the Pride of Gwent for the Environment Award, sponsored by Newport City Council. This award goes to a person who has made a significant contribution to the environment as a whole in their local community, school or group. The finalists are Richard Evans, Army veteran Richard, has made thousands of nest boxes over 11 years. His project, Nest Box, has inspired similar schemes both nationally and internationally. Lauren Morse, the Journey to Zero Waste in Torvine Facebook page set up by Lauren, now has more than 5,000 members, all of whom are inspired by her practical advice, ideas, and support for reducing single-use plastic waste. And Mandy Powell and Kelly Davis, Mandy and Kelly, are the founders of The Good Wash Company, a luxury toiletries brand and social enterprise based in Barry that uses responsibly sourced ingredients, including recycled materials. To announce the name of the winner from Newport City Council, the leader, Councillor Jane Mudd. We're really proud to be supporting these awards at Newport City Council, and I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Environment Award is Richard Evans. Hi everyone at the Pride of Gwent Awards. This is Stephen Carter Bailey and I'm from the Great British Bake Off. Now I'm getting in touch with you to first of all say Thank you. Thank you for the amazing work that you do. You go above and beyond and we didn't want it to go unnoticed. We might not be able to meet up in groups. It might be a bit odd this year, but that doesn't mean that we're not proud of you. It doesn't mean that we're not going to celebrate. So good luck to every single one of you. You all deserve to win and you're all wonderful. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Stephen. Our next award is the Pride of Gwent Charity Award, sponsored by Newport City Homes. This award goes to a charity or community interest company with charitable objectives based in Gwent. The finalists are Feed Newport. This charity collects food donations and warm coats and distributes them to the less fortunate. 
Its volunteers are determined to make a difference in the community. Helping Caring Team. The Pink Jacketed HCT team is working hard to help the homeless with food parcels and through arranging accommodation. They help vulnerable people on a daily basis. And Pride in Pill. The volunteers work tirelessly to make Pill a safer and cleaner place to live by clearing litter and helping householders with their gardens. They also assist the homeless around Newport with food, drink and clothing, along with furniture when they get their own place. To announce the name of the winner representing Newport City Homes, the editor of the South Wales Argus, Gavin Thompson. The winner of the charity award is Feed Newport. Hey, Martin Roberts from Homes Under the Hammer here. Just to wish all the finalists in the Pride of Gwent Awards all the very best. You all are very deserved winners, whether you actually win or not. Thanks, Martin. We move on to Pride of Gwent Charity Champion, sponsored by Knaf Insulation. This award goes to a person who has raised a substantial amount of money for charity. The finalists are Abergavenny Elvis, Keith Davis has raised 375,000 for various charities by bringing Elvis moments to people all over the world for the past 17 years. Kevin and Kath O'Connor. This husband and wife fundraising team took on the challenging 298 mile Cambrian Way walk to raise more than £11,000 for the ambulance service charity, Task, which by coincidence I just happen to be patron of. Kevin is a paramedic and Kath an emergency medical technician with the Welsh Ambulance Service. And Ian Padfield. 10-year-old Yayan cycled 250 miles to raise money for Pancreatic Cancer UK after his great-aunt was diagnosed with the disease. So far, he's collected more than £1,200, enough to fund two weeks of research. To announce the name of the winner from Knaf Insulation, Wayhouse Team Leader and Values Ambassador, Lindsay Keys. <laughs> The winner of the Charity Champion Award is Yayan Padfield. Hello, it's me, Cheryl Baker from The Fizz, ex Bucks Fizz, winner of the Eurovision Song Contest when the UK had a chance of winning. Hooray! Uh, this is a message for all you finalists in the Pride of Gwent Awards. You volunteers, you lifesavers, fundraisers, carers and 999 heroes. I have a message from the South Wales Argus newspaper who are running the awards and they want me to tell you that they are incredibly proud of you and they want to thank you for your hard work and to wish you luck. And I echo that. Good luck to all of you and thank you so much for everything that you do. Thanks, Cheryl. Our fourth category this evening is the Pride of Gwent Achiever Award, sponsored by Admiral Insurance. This award is for a person who has achieved against the odds or beyond expectations. The finalists are Joseph Jordan Richardson. Joe turned to cycling as an outlet after struggling with anxiety for a number of years and being made redundant. He raised more than £3,000 for the charity Mind by riding his bike from Wales to Berlin and has since opened his own marketing company and is looking to help people made redundant in 2020. Hayley and Nicole Thomas. Mother of Five Hayley helps numerous homeless and struggling individuals through the Helping Caring Team charity and uses her experience of special needs education to help other families in difficulty. Her daughter, Nicole, makes a big difference to the lives of many people, even though she lives with anxiety and autism herself. And Nicola Wheaton. 
Nicholas Hardwork has created a partnership of various agencies seeking to achieve the best possible outcomes for young people at risk. She is the driving force behind the innovative Newport Engagement Hub based at Malpass Fire Station, developing a business case to secure funds, liaising with existing partners and forging new relationships. To announce the name of the winner representing Admiral Insurance, the editor of the South Wales Argus, Gavin Thompson. The winner of the Achiever Award is Nicola Wheaton. I want to say a huge thank you to the South Wales Argus newspaper for running the Pride of Gwent Awards, celebrating volunteers, lifesavers, fundraisers, and carer and 999 heroes. I want to personally thank you for all your hard work and I want to congratulate all the finalists, all the finalists. Anyway, thank you for all the work that you do. Thanks, Shirley. Our next award is the Pride of Gwent Courage Award, supported by the Anaira and Bevan University Health Board. This award is given to a person who has shown immense courage in the face of danger or adversity. The finalists are Emily Allen. Young carer Emily's gymnastic ambitions took a knock last year when she broke her ankle, an injury that caused her a great deal of anxiety. Nevertheless, she's returned to the sport and has also taken up cheerleading, inspiring her mum, Laura, to write a book for anybody new to these activities. And Steve Blackshaw. Steve's response to being furloughed from his job as a cabin manager with TUI was to return to nursing to help the National Health Service during the pandemic. His son has praised his compassion and cheerfulness and paid tribute to other retired nurses and doctors who have volunteered their skills at this time. To announce the name of the winner representing the Aniram Bevin University Health Board, the Managing Director of the South Wales Argus, Hussein Bayoumi. And the winner of the Courage Award is Emily Allen. Hello everybody, this is Leslie Joseph, here to celebrate the Pride of Gwent Award finalists. These are run by the South Wales Argus newspaper, and these awards obviously have had to move online because of COVID. But they are to celebrate all those volunteers, the, the 999 heroes, the lifesavers, the fundraisers, the carers. What would we do without you? How would we get through times like this? I send huge love to all of you, especially those finalists. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of virtual kisses and a good hug. I wish you all luck. And you know what? I wish I was there in person to give out an award. But the best of luck to all of you and a real heartfelt thank you. Thanks, Leslie. We move on to the Pride of Gwent Special Recognition Award, sponsored by Tuffy Brothers. This award celebrates achievements that are not covered in other categories. The finalists are Deborah Cottis. Deb, as she's known to her colleagues at the Claremont Court Care Home, has gone above and beyond in keeping people safe during the COVID-19 pandemic, ensuring superlative infection control and providing support for the emotional well-being of staff. Rachel Lawrence. Rachel is praised for her work with the Blyna Gwent County Borough Council Inspire team in supporting teenagers and their families when they are having difficulties and are at risk of falling through the cracks. And Nicola Wheaton. Nicola works for the South Wales Fire and Rescue Service and is tirelessly striving to improve community safety. She is the guiding light of the innovative Newport Engagement Hub, based at Malpass Fire Station, which brings together various agencies to help vulnerable young people. To announce the name of the winner representing Tuffy Brothers, 
the editor of the South Wales Argus, Gavin Thompson. The winner of the Special Recognition Award is Rachel Lawrence. South Wales Argus newspaper are running the Pride of Gwent Awards. Hurrah! The awards have had to move online because of COVID. Well, of course, they celebrate volunteers, lifesavers, fundraisers, carers, everybody out there. Please think of them. In this time when we're all living in this strange world, I send you all my love. I wish I could say from Benny Dawn, but I send you all my love and I'm thinking of you too. Bye-bye. Thanks, Cherie. Our seventh category this evening is the Pride of Gwent Good Samaritan Award, sponsored by the Monmouthshire Building Society. This award goes to a person who came to the help of a stranger. The finalists are Mia Beachy. Mia is the driving force behind Kefili Scrubbers, a group of more than 50 people who have turned fabric into scrubs, headbands, masks, and ear savers for care and medical staff. Feed Newport. The volunteers at Feed Newport have shown huge compassion for complete strangers by giving up their time to provide nourishment and a warm smile and friendship to those needing it most. And Lisa Thomas and the Helping Caring Team. The Helping Caring Team, of which Lisa is a member, has been a good Samaritan on many occasions. Lisa is specifically praised for helping a vulnerable young man who was trying to run into a road of fast traffic. To announce the name of the winner from the Monmouthshire Building Society, Branch Manager, Amy Robinson. The Monmouthshire Building Society are honoured to award the Good Samaritan Award to Lisa Thomas and the Helping Caring Team. Hi there, Linda Lusardi here on behalf of the South Wales Argos who are running the Pride of Gwent Awards. Well, they're online this year because of COVID, um, but they celebrate volunteers, lifesavers, fundraisers, carers and 999 heroes. And I'd like to thank all the finalists for their hard work and obviously wish you all very good luck. Thanks, Linda. We move on to the Pride of Gwent Volunteer Award sponsored by United Welsh Housing. This award goes to a person who has given up their time to help a charity, group or their community. The finalists are Adele Hearn. Adele has been recommended by Abbott Larry and Bliner Rotary for her determined and sustained efforts to support local and international charities including Goal for Gambia, which supports education and training opportunities for young people in Africa. Lisa Olsen. Lisa has made a big difference to the lives of many families through her work with Feed Newport. The mother of three spends many of her evenings picking up crates of food from supermarkets to distribute them to needy people, as well as helping out during the daytime. And Zuhab Ulla. Hundreds of asylum seekers are able to exercise and travel around on two wheels thanks to Zuhab, who repairs bicycles and passes them on to people who need them. He also runs a community allotment at the Gap Wales, leading a small group who meet there on a Saturday. To announce the name of the winner from United Welsh Housing, Marketing and Communications Manager, Claire Canning. United Welsh is really pleased to be sponsoring the Volunteer Awards at the Pride of Gwent Awards this evening. There were lots of fantastic entries. You're all a winner in our eyes. But I'm really glad to tell you that the winner of the Volunteer Award is Zouab Ulla.
Finalists, this is a message to you. Not to me, to you. On behalf of South Wales Argos newspaper, who run the Pride of Gwent Awards, I'd like to thank you all, the finalists, for their hard work and wish you all good luck. As you know, it's online this year due to Corona, and I'd like to say thanks for all you've done and will do. But remember, no slacking. Thanks, Paul. We move on to the Pride of Gwent Local Hero Award, sponsored by Colleg Gwent. This award goes to a person who has made a significant contribution to Gwent. The finalists are Catherine Davis. Foster mum Catherine has been offering a safe haven or respite care to vulnerable children for 24 years, as well as bringing up seven of her own and a further three adopted youngsters with her supportive husband, Andrew. She's also involved with a food bank in Newbridge. Josephine Doe. Hundreds of family historians with connections to the old county of Monmouthshire have reason to thank Josephine for the years she spent compiling material available through her free website to assist them with their research. And Dennis Hughes. Den has helped and supported hundreds of people in Suffrage Llanhilleth and Bernaidle as well as in local communities in Blaina Gwent, making them positive places in which to live. He's particularly loved for his work at Suffrage Community Centre. To announce the name of the winner from Colleague Gwent, Faculty Director Gary Handley. We are really pleased at Colleague Gwent to be presenting this award. It is so important during these times to recognise all the great things that people are doing in Gwent. It is with pleasure I announce that the winner of the Local Hero Award is Catherine Davis. Hello everybody, well done, congratulations to all the finalists in the South Wales Argus newspaper Pride of Gwent Awards. Um, you've all done so fantastic to get there. Thanks for all your hard work to all the finalists and I wish you all the best of luck. I'm Mike Bushell and I used to work for local newspapers. They're so important, such a part of the community. And this is brilliant, the fact that they run the Pride of Gwent Awards. But sadly, of course, because of COVID-19, the awards have had to move online. And it's still so brilliant, though, online to celebrate volunteers, lifesavers, fundraisers, carers, 999 heroes, people that have kept the country on its feet during lockdown and during the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you so much for all you've done. Best of luck. We're all winners. You're all winners in every way. So whatever happens tonight and online, just please have pride in what you've achieved. Thank you so much from everybody and all the best. Thanks, Mike. Our 10th category this evening is the Pride of Gwent Community Hero Award, sponsored by Gwent Police and the Police and Crime Commissioner. This award is for a person who has made a real difference to their community. The finalists are Bernard Dawson. Bernard has set up a support group in rural Kyrwent to help people shielding or self-isolating during lockdowns. His scheme, which covers shopping, medicine, collections, and even dog walking, has inspired similar groups elsewhere. Torn Derivan and Tara Holloway. Risca CV19 Volunteers was founded in 2020 to ensure nobody in and around the town would be lonely, hungry or frightened during lockdowns. The charity keeps in touch with the lonely people by telephone and its 200 volunteers distribute food. And Dennis Hughes. Den has done much to foster community spirit in Suffered. He organises a large number of events at the Suffered Community Centre from pantomimes to youth clubs and distributes Easter eggs to local children in April. He also serves as a counsellor. To announce the name of the winner from Gwent Police and on behalf of the Police and Crime Commissioner, Chief Constable Pam Kelly. This year more than ever, we've had to work very closely together as a community. And it is my absolute privilege 
to announce a winner who has worked very hard within the community of Caer Gwent. The Community Hero Award for this year is Bernard Dawson. I want to thank all the finalists for all the hard work and wish them luck. Uh, yeah, good luck to everybody. Uh, I'm honorary crew member at the RNLI, uh, and I know all the chaps there, so I know how incredibly hard uh, the guys work uh, just there. So everyone at 999, uh, all the carers, volunteers, and everyone who does amazing jobs and keep us all safe, um, I doff my cap to you, and I hope you're all safe, and I hope you're all well. And if it was up to me, you'd all win. Thanks, Simon. We move on to the Pride of Gwent Lifesaver Award, sponsored by the South Wales Argus. This award is for a person or group who have directly saved someone's life. The finalists are Ros Bennett and Andrea Reeves. Nurses Ros and Andrea used basic resuscitation skills to save the life of a man after he developed severe respiratory problems. PC Mark Powell. PC Powell's instinct, swift actions, persistence and kindness prevented a woman from taking her own life. I'm alive today because of PC Mark Powell, she said. And Red Watch Malpass. This crew from the South Wales Fire and Rescue Service attached one of their number to a tether so that he could venture into the River Usk and save the life of a man in distress. To announce the name of the winner from the South Wales Argus, Managing Director Hussein Bayoumi. I'm delighted to announce the winner of the Lifesaver Award is PC Mark Powell. Hello there, everyone from the South Wales Argus newspaper and everyone, more importantly, of the Pride of Gwent Awards. This is Anthony Cotton here. I'm just wishing you all the very best. I know that these awards celebrate volunteers and lifesavers, fundraisers, carers and 999 heroes, etc. So I'm sending you all of my love and all of my luck um, for this year's finalists. OK, lots of love. Good luck. Thanks, Anthony. We move on to the Pride of Gwent Carer Award, sponsored by Melin Holmes. This award goes to a person who cares for a friend, family member, or a member of their community who is ill or disabled. The finalists are Adele Delaney. Adele helps to support a housebound man who would be unable to cope with living independently without assistance. She helps him with his shopping and hospital appointments and obtaining clothing. Adele also helps other homeless and vulnerable people through the Helping Caring Trust. And Hayley Thomas. Hayley has been described as super mum for the way she looks after her five children, all of whom are on the autistic spectrum and runs a charity that helps the vulnerable in society. To announce the name of the winner from Melin Holmes, chair of 100 Voices, the company resident group, Natalie Gardner. Melon Holmes knows how hard the carers have worked during the pandemic. I am delighted to announce the winner of the Carer Award is Hayley Thomas. everybody at the Pride of Gwent Awards. My name is Ian Lee. Look at my hair. <laughs> I need a haircut and I need to get it done soon. I just wanted to thank the South Wales Argus newspaper for running uh, this awards. I want to congratulate everybody nominated, winners. There are no losers here. Uh, the fundraisers, the carers, the 999 heroes, everybody that has done their best to keep Communities, streets, houses, neighbours, friends, loved ones, strangers safe during a very weird year. It's very strange. And I, for one, am taking this very, very seriously. Washing my hands. I'm wearing my mask. I'm socially distancing. I'm not going out unless I have to. Um, 
and it's a tough time. And people like you have made this tough time better and survivable. And you've kept people sane and you've kept people safe. So thank you very much for that. Enjoy the evening. And um, well, maybe we'll all meet up for a coffee when this is over. Thanks, Ian. Our 13th category this evening is the Pride of Gwent 999 Hero, sponsored by Monmouthshire County Council. This award goes to a person or people who have saved a life or acted bravely. The finalists are Helping Caring Team. This charity is tireless work in providing food and helping the homeless during the pandemic is credited with saving countless lives. Ben Jones and Tim Blacklock. Ben and Tim are members of the public whose bravery and selfless actions in assisting a woman in distress on a bridge have led Gwent Police to nominate them as 999 heroes. And Red Watch Malpass. This intrepid crew showed the highest levels of teamwork when they rescued a distressed person from the River Usk. To announce the name of the winner from Monmouthshire County Council, Chairman Sheila Woodhouse. Good evening. I'm delighted to announce the winners of the 999 Hero Award. They are Ben Jones and Tim Blacklock. It's me, Lily Allen, and I am here to wish all the finalists at the Pride of Gwent Awards good luck this evening. Um, thank you for all of your hard work in the community and in general, but especially during this pandemic. Mwah! Good luck tonight. Thanks, Lily. We move on to the Pride of Gwent Lifetime Achievement Award, sponsored by Western Power Distribution. This award marks a considerable achievement. The finalists are Tarek Khan. The community interest company Feed Newport was founded by Tarek, who volunteers many hours of his time to its work, providing meals and a food bank service for people who are struggling and winter coats for homeless charities. Paul Murphy. Pride in Pill has long been a breath of fresh air blowing through Pill. Paul has inspired a number of volunteers to help keep the community clean and assist with the homeless around Newport with food, drink and clothing, along with furniture when they get their own place. And Haley Thomas. Haley is the founder of the Helping Caring Team charity, which helps homeless and vulnerable people. She's also spent many years helping the parents of children with special educational needs. To announce the name of the winner from Western Power Distribution, Corporate Communication Officer Karen Welsh. I'm delighted to be here on behalf of Western Power Distribution to announce the winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award. It's Tarek Khan. Hi everybody, Sam Warburton here. We'd just like to wish all the finalists all the best of luck. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, Sam. Our final award this evening is the Pride of Gwent winner 2021, sponsored by the University of South Wales. The winner of this award is selected by the sponsors from the winners of the other categories and is the overall winner of the Pride of Gwent Awards. To announce the name of the winner and say a few words, Vice-Chancellor of the University of South Wales, Professor Julie Lydon. Thank you, Simon. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to join you this evening and for the opportunity to be part of such a special occasion. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate all of tonight's worthy finalists. Your stories are truly inspiring and you have all made a real difference to your communities. 
At the University of South Wales, we also want to play our part in the region. We are committed to changing people's lives and our world for the better. From training up the next generation of our incredible key workers, nurses, teachers and police officers, to name but a few, to delivering the newest business professionals and cybersecurity experts into industry. We're also committed to helping with the economic regeneration of the region. And that's why we're opening up our Newport campus, located right in the heart of the city centre, to act as a hub for businesses of any size to come and engage with us, admittedly virtually during these times. Giving back to our communities is also something that's close to our hearts at the university, particularly to assist refugees to access English language and education opportunities, which led us to becoming a University of Sanctuary last year. As the region's university, USW is incredibly proud to be the headline sponsor for this year's Pride of Gwent Awards and to have the opportunity to demonstrate our great support and commitment to the region. So, without further ado, it is with great pleasure that I can introduce the final award of the evening. All of tonight's winners have undertaken such selfless acts to help others and to improve lives. They truly have made everyone in Gwent proud and of any one of them are deserving of this final accolade. However, we could sadly only choose one. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Pride of Gwent Awards 2021 is... Feed Newport! Congratulations, Feed Newport. Congratulations to all finalists and winners. You are integral to our country and our communities, and we are grateful for everything you do. These awards would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors. They continue to champion these awards during these challenging times and have helped ensure they could go ahead online tonight. I'd like to thank our title sponsor, the University of South Wales, and our category sponsors, Admiral Insurance, Colleague Gwent, Gwent Police and the Police and Crime Commissioner, Knaf Insulation, Mellon Homes, Monmouthshire Building Society, Monmouthshire County Council, Newport City Council, Newport City Homes, Tuvy Brothers, United Welsh Housing, and Western Power Distribution. These awards have also been supported by the Aniron Bevan University Health Board. I'd also like to thank Freemasons of Monmouthshire who have sponsored the Souvenir Programme which will be in the South Wales Argus on March the 18th. In it, you will be able to find out more about tonight's winners, so be sure to pick up a copy. Thank you for watching the South Wales Argus Pride of Gwent Awards 2021. Good night and stay safe.